Hello everyone. Today we'll be covering a demo session on Anaplan. So before moving to Anaplan, I'll just like to welcome you all for being part of uh, Mind Magic. Uh, before uh, moving ahead, I'll just like to give a brief introduction about myself. I'm an Anaplan expert trainer. I've been training around. Uh, I have given training around the 200 plus individuals which are working in top MLCs right now. I have given training to individuals from all around the globe about me. I have an. I'm a solution architect with an extensive experience in planning and modeling so just a brief topics what we will be covering into this curriculum mostly uh, like we'll be going with the basics of Anaplan we'll be covering in detail what Anaplan is why we use Anaplan what all is included we will be covering the list and roll up we'll be covering one of the main components of Anaplan that is module if you ask me personally everything in Anaplan is dependent upon your module build so we'll be going in detail about modules apart from that uh, we'll also be covering how to see the modules how to see the whole alignments of the module with each other that will be under blueprint view we'll also be uh, covering one of the main features about that is formulas and all that will that's a major core part of a building any modules we'll be covering about uh, data import and export one of the great feature of anaplan which helps us to import a data from uh, source side and we can import into the anaplan and we can export it to wherever we want to depending upon where the information needs to go apart from that uh, we'll be moving in and covering dashboard section so dashboard is uh, like uh, the you can say it like a ux which is visible to the end user so we'll be uh, covering the designing of dashboards and all where the user can see all the data is coming how and at the same time he can manipulate the data in the dashboard when we talk about this much about uh, anaplan the model the data which we are including the data are really a concern so like one of the main feature of anaplan is security so we'll be covering that topic workflow and model map will be going in anaplan also does provide to link up with other technology which are being used by other projects or other clients or maybe into a different system that is uh, we can connect uh, the anaplan with uh, the other technologies as in new soft and all we can connect with the plan we'll be also be covering about uh, project deployments we'll be going to the model schema based on case study we'll be doing that we'll also be not only giving you a lecture about to complete the course but also we'll be walking you through the practicals and we'll be giving you a good knowledge of how to build a model so we'll be covering a case study we'll be reviewing the those case studies and uh, we'll also be coming up with uh, other any topics which anaplan just puts in into their curriculum or if uh, anaplan just uh, you know uh, makes an enhancement and if uh, anaplan comes up with that we'll also accommodate those important topics into our course so uh, today's agenda what we'll be covering in our course today will be a little introduction about Anaplan when we talk about learning about any new technology or anything we surely look about how much demanding it's into the market and uh, some features and uh, basics about model building so a little introduction about Anaplan it's like uh, already we know like it's a cloud-based platform it's used for it's an EPM tool as the name itself suggests it combines the words analysis and planning Ana analysis and planning comes from plan is known for its memory database and calculation engine called hyperblock so it's all about uh, we are doing modeling here we are planning we are implementing customer demands into our model and we make sure produce an optimum goal where they are able to do a lot of things like uh, cost optimization where they can manage their inventories it is followed into a number of domains and a plan is uh, widely used into financial planning it's used in supply chain management inventory management headcount planning SIP implementation and the list goes on there are a lot of places where an plan can be used so it's grabbing a huge market and a lot of uh, companies are moving slowly and steadily and they are making sure that they are using Anaplan instead of any other planning and modeling tools out here. If you compare it with its uh, most uh, basic ally, with, with its most old ally, if you say Excel, it provides a lot and a lot of features as in it helps, it's a multi-dimensional, it's a cloud-based platform, a lot of users can use it at the same time and it's dynamic in nature. So Anaplan does comes up with a lot and a lot of features which pushes the organization to shift their modeling and planning to Anaplan. So if you talk about the course technology in the market, it's as I mentioned before, like it's used in workforce planning, quota planning, commission calculation, project planning, demand planning, budgeting, planning, forecasting, financial consolidation, profitability modeling. Not only that, 
and the list goes on and on. So it can be used into number of domains and we are pretty sure that it will be expanding rapidly. The main reason I mean if you ask why one should learn a plan because its demand is increasing tremendously. It's one of the niche skill which you can acquire in the market and get a competitive edge over others. There is mass recruitment all around the globe by the top MNCs. So the random topic of course uh, which we'll be covering all around is like uh, we'll be going through module building, dashboarding as I mentioned that's the UX. Anaplan has recently come up with their new UX that is that uh, have replaced their old dashboarding and they are coming up with this new UX facility. We'll be creating the new UX as that we're importing it into a module and we'll be going through and we'll to the end of the course you have again immense knowledge that you yourself can get a certified in model building. Not only that, we'll be giving only um, only things. We'll also be covering all the practicals for all the topics we we'll during the course of. It will be a financial planning. So whenever we'll be class, we will be slowly building up. Like I mentioned, like we'll be covering the basics. We'll be covering the theories. We'll be doing the practicals. At the same time, in each and every classes, we'll be making sure that we are moving slowly and steadily towards our project implementation. That will be in financial planning domain. So, uh, just a little uh, how this look and feel of Anaplan is. I like to show you all. So, this is like workspace. Anaplan workspace. How this uh, tool looks like. We have predefined time, versions, users, contents, and all. Here, we'll be building our lists. And all and all the list goes and on. So here we have the main dashboards which I talk about. We can put up revision tags which we'll, we'll be discussing in our ALM sections. Apart from that, uh, source model and all if we are connecting it with any other model. There are a lot of things. I mean ultimately this is the place where you know you'll be building your model and you'll be doing your exercises and exercises and all and gradually with the course you will become more familiar with whatever over here is and as I mentioned about the new UX about uh, new UX which has replaced the previous cache boards so this is your new UX where you can come up with your my pages section and uh, we'll be building this little fancy and it's too dynamic we'll be creating our personal pages with the help of boards worksheets and all where we'll be assigning page name workspace model name and all whatever we want to include in this section so that's a little where you'll be spending your day out for your exercises and model building and uh, that's it. So the, about the additional course resources what we'll be providing you apart from the lectures daily which we'll be covering we'll be giving you the sessions video of these lectures which you can use it in your free time for going through any topics again if you have a confusion you can reach out to us anytime. We'll be giving you the useful references. We'll be helping you with resume building. We'll be sharing sample resumes. We'll be showing path what you all you can mention in a resume what a company or MNC looks for and that is a we'll be having a resume preparation guidance and apart from not only that we'll also be making sure and uh, giving you the most important interview questions asked and uh, that which can help you in cracking the interviews. So about the course demo questionnaire, any doubts regarding the subject we can discuss in the sessions which we'll be having and any question regarding course timing, resource allocation can be discussed with Mind Magic. We do value your feedback. We appreciate your feedback and uh, this will help us in delivering qualitative trainings further. You can mail your feedback to the mail ID mentioned and contact us anytime for any feedback or any concern. Thank you.